Hi guys, Mike back again with a Kickstarter unboxing of the seventh continent that has just arrived today. Now this is a beast of a game that was uh, developed by Sirius Pulp, um, which is a French based company I believe. This funded between September and October 2015 was originally supposed to be delivered in October 2016 and I have received it today, which is the 14th of August 2017. So I've been waiting nearly two years uh, for this and uh, I'm sure it's worth the wait. This is, um, yeah, one of the, I think gonna be one of those games that, that's gonna, that, that's, that people are gonna wish they, they had. It's a kind of choose your own adventure game that's tile based. And, and you can basically, you lay you make decisions, you lay tiles, you set out the map of the seventh continent that you're exploring and, uh, and all of the adventures that you have as part of that, uh, as part of that process, basically. Comes in a huge box, big hunky box. It's really, really nicely uh, presented. No damage whatsoever. It came really, really well packaged, which is always nice to see. Uh, and again, there's nothing on it, so it's all just, yeah, so, so like you just got your seventh continent, nothing on the back, could be anything. One to four players, 14 plus. So this is the main game. Uh, I also picked up the Cartographer's Notebook, because why not, which is a gridded notebook that you can use to save your game effectively. This This game can take hours and hours and hours, days in fact, uh, and you can record your your progress so you can pack it up and then set it back up again. Uh, so you get, I got the cartographer's notebook. I also picked up, so that, that was an add-on. Included with the game were three expansions. The Icy Maze, the Forbidden Sanctuary, and whatever the middle one's called, I'm not sure. So you get those with it. One of them is a Kickstarter exclusive. The other two will be available at retail, as far as I understand. Then there are a couple of other expansions, which are add-ons. So Fear the Devourers and Facing the Elements. So you get some new bits, new cards, etc. I basically went all in on this game, apart from the sleeves for the cards. For, uh, I, I'm, I'm not one for sleeving my games, uh, so I didn't bother. And then another little mini expansion, The Path of Repentance. And I also picked up, because I'm a sucker for custom dice, picked up two packs of the bone dice and you get a dice bag too. So all in on the seventh continent. I was really struggling actually, because I thought I was going to sell this. I thought it's going to arrive. I'm not even going to open it. I'm not even going to open the shrink and I'm just going to sell it. Uh, but I've changed my mind. I think I've changed my mind, but I'm got, I've got to open it anyway to make sure it's all right. Because I don't, I couldn't, I probably would be remiss in selling it um, without having checked the contents to making sure it was was uh, in good order that you know there's actually something in the box for one so I'm going to open it which is what we're here doing today so again really well packaged the box is really heavy actually so here we go I'm really excited about this it's kind of a shiny front of the lid beautiful and I like it how they've um, made the inside of the box lid black. It's not, they've you know, they've really put a lot of effort in. It's not just your plain card, which you'll find with a lot of board games. So they have colored the inside of the box lid. Um, there's a little note in English and French. So this is Dear Backer Explorer, Curse Victim. If you're reading this, then somehow miraculously a dream that was born in the head of two young kids has finally reached its conclusion. So blah, blah, blah. So just a thank you from the developers uh, um, for, for backing the game and for being patient and for just, you know, you know, being understanding. Anyway, so rule book. Now, the first thing I notice about this rule book is that it's not a glossy rule book. It is a matte finish rule book. Most board games, in fact, I can't think of a board game that I have that you receive a matte finish rule book. 
that's that's nice I think and that fits the theme so anyway rule book read this before you set off contents again lots of pictures describes all the cards overview turn sequence this is not a big rule book so but very nicely laid out and presented I like that definitions bit of a glossary icons on the back which is always nice then we've got some tokens for your survivors and some fire tokens double-sided then we've got they're quite thick some action consequences turn sequence so we've got player boards basically four player boards so just lets you know how to play the game just easy reference lovely then we've got a I don't know what this is punch board front punch board back discard pile what is this nope not sure what that is not sure I think it's somewhere to put your cards anyway so we'll have a look at that after and then piles and piles of cards the idea was that the box was supposed to house absolutely everything including all the expansions so you get some foam blocks which is always nice to see and then you just get tons of cards tons of cards so stacks hang on a minute let me just do this so we're not gonna get them out of order i'm not sure it really matters but there we go so we'll just have a quick look so basically you get stacks and stacks of these tiles um, they're all numbered and they mean different things so we've got loads and loads so there's a map tile so as far as i'm aware i mean i don't know what any of these icons mean but you can if you're on this tile you can choose and you can draw tile 294 or you can draw tile 328 and then go off in various directions or 262 uh, or you've come from tile 262 maybe or come from somewhere and you can draw the tiles to continue your adventure so I mean it's just stacks and stacks of cards tiles um, the there were two backing two backing levels explorer and survivor I went on, on on an explorer I think it was like 30 30 euros more and you got a thousand tiles rather than six or seven hundred I think you get a little magnifying glass thing. Can't remember what that's for. I do remember reading about it, but can't remember what it's for. Get some dice. Two, four, six, eight dice. Little mini dice. Then you get some stands. And as part of the Kickstarter... Oh, wow. <laughs> as part of being a Kickstarter backer, you get little miniatures to replace the... Um, let's open this... You get some little tiny miniatures, which are really small, to replace the um, cardboard punch outs. So on our uh, on our game tile, you'd have your person there. So that's really cool. That's really nice. So that's a nice little touch in its own little plastic tray. which then fits back in the box. You get these uh, trays, again, nice thick, nice quality, lovely quality cardboard trays, which stack all your tiles in. So you get two of those, actually you get three of those. And then in this <coughs> tray here, you basically get all your dividers. So these are thick card and you get your dividers so you can divide up all your cards. So I need to read about that, find out what's going on, how we do that. So you can divide everything up and store it all in the uh, in the cardboard trays. Well, there's just a, also, yeah, a little little stopper there, and that's the box empty. And again, just wonderful, wonderful presentation. I really like this. Um, 
I'm glad I've opened it and I'm glad I'm glad I'm keeping it. I, I am gonna keep it, I think. I'm not I don't think I'm gonna sell it. But um but yeah, it's absolutely wonderful. The production values are, are very, very nice. I mean some of the some of the best I've seen, if I'm honest. It's just really, really nice. Um so yeah, so that is Corset, Seventh Continent. Very, very impressed. And uh Let's put all those back in there. Yeah, minis go there. So you've got some stands and some dice, so plenty of room for stuff. And then I'm assuming all of our expansion tiles are all going to fit in here, basically. You know, obviously out of the box. So we've got five, six expansions, six mini expansions. Um, and we'll go from there. And the dice, of course. So I might do another little unboxing video just of the expansions and stuff, just to show you what they look like. But yes, first impressions are extremely high. Very, very happy with this. Very happy with this. Uh, so that's it, Seventh Continent. Um, catch you on the next one, guys.